How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back in the world of No Rest for the Wicked and we just got some really cool news for some early access hotfixes. This is the first of many coming to the uh, coming to the game. So let's go over it really quickly because this has some really good stuff that a lot of players were complaining or worried about that really needed some fixes. But yeah, let's jump right on into this one. Keep in mind, I will have this down in the description if you want to go read it yourself, but this one is pretty fresh. It says, thank you again to all of you for making our early access so amazing. Today's hotfix is the first of many upcoming patches and updates to improve No Rest for the Wicked on the road to our 1.0 release. We hear you. We are hard at work on performing improvements and compro uh, controller revamping, which are coming soon. Please be sure to check the resolution settings for the game to be able to get the best experience. In the meantime, today's day two hotfix aims to improve balance, durability, stamina, loot, stability, and immediate immediate quality of life so here are the balance changes first they're going to be reducing the durability damage taken so that's going to make it easier for us not to like hurt our gear whenever we get hit i'm assuming is that death and like whenever just general usage i guess we'll see reduce repair costs which is nice increase drop rate on repair powders i've found two repair powders maybe three in my entire like entire playthrough and i'm fairly far into the game Reduced stamina costs. That is a massive win. That is my number one biggest complaint in the game right now is stamina. I've actually pumped quite a few points into stamina to offset this. I was a little worried this was going to happen where they actually like re like re restructure the stamina costs and stuff. But uh, hopefully they add something to respect our skills because I do have a lot into stamina. With that said, I am happy with the amount of stamina I have now so I can start pumping into like more damage stats. Next, we have reduced fall damage curve. That's actually hilarious. I have died by far the most to fall damage at all times. Nothing has killed me in this game as much as fall damage. Oh, so I'm happy to see that. I'm actually genuinely surprised fall damage was like worked on. I guess a lot of players are struggling with this too. Reduced the cost of horseshoe crab and food that includes horseshoe crabs. It makes sense. It required like more, I believe, mushrooms to basically make that. So cool. Balance update for the uh, Serum Crucible boss have not fought him yet, so he got a little bit more balance. And change Corpse Smear Blade starting from tier 2 to tier 1. I'm not sure what that means. I have that weapon, but I'm way too, uh, too low uh, level to use it, so yeah. That is all the changes for the balance. Let's go into the loot changes. Introduce more weapons into Fillmore's pre-sacrament loot table. That is super nice. Here's the problem. At the moment, the, the problem with the way the, the loot is designed is currently you get a item. Let's say, for example, you start off and you build into decks like I did and you got some daggers. So I'm like, OK, let me use these daggers and go through it. What ended up happening for me was I could not find a dex weapon for the life of me. I still have not found a bow at all and I'm relatively far into the game. And for a good portion of the like first quarter of the game, I was just using common daggers. Now I could have went to the shop to upgrade them, but I think there needs to be a better like loot table, especially when it comes to like stats that can't be allocated. Uh, well, can't be respect. It kind of forces you to get used a weapon that you get rather than make a build of your own. Hopefully this will help with like more stuff. I do think they need to add just better or more weapon drops. I see that a lot in the community. But this is steps in the right direction. It says also reduce drop rate of fallen embers. Um, yeah, I have so many of these. I think I think that's actually a good change. I haven't used that many of them because again, I haven't gotten to the Serum Crucible. But that's fair enough. For stability, we only got one fix, and that is fixed crashes that could occur when quitting out to the main menu. I've crashed two times so far, but I also have like 25 hours in the game, so eh, it's fine. Finally, we have bug fixes. Improve inventory navigation. Yeah, whenever you like click left and right, sometimes it goes up and down, so that's good. Fix jumps at potion cellar click cave so you don't miss a jump when executed correctly. Yeah, this was actually one of the things someone in my comment section said, uh, I believe today when they're doing jumps, I'll put it on screen right now, but looks like some guy was like, I wasn't able to jump. I did the jump 30 times and couldn't do it. I think that's a mouse and keyboard problem. I play with controller because I'm able to hit it. But yeah, hopefully they fix it. There's a bug where you're climbing up. Um, I don't know if it's a bug, but when you're climbing up branches and stuff, it's hard for you to like actually climb. They need to fix that too. So yeah, blocked off any out of bounds areas of Nameless Pass. I'm actually in Nameless Pass now, so I haven't seen that. And then remove lingering dev tools. 
Don't know what that means, but <laughs> looks like they removed some lingering dev tools. Uh, doesn't look like there's much more to the patch. This is actually a really good patch. I'm a little worried about my stamina now. Maybe my stamina is too high. Eh, we'll see how that goes. But this is, yeah, the first patch of many for No Rest for the Wicked. I think the dev team is doing a good job. I think these are all my major complaints at the moment. Those are literally all my complaints. The stamina, finding weapons, the fall damage. I can deal with the fall damage. The cost for repairs, like that's pretty much addressing everything. And hopefully the controls and then stability needs a, a lot more work. I think they just need way more stability work, but whatever. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think about this patch. How you doing in No Rest for the Wicked? And uh, yeah, thank you for watching guys. Later.